I, uh, I don't like horror games very much. Or rather, I'm just very afraid to play horror games, and this one sticks you right into the action without so much as a title menu. This is The Cursed Tape. Came out on May 7th, 2024, and I thought it looked promising. And let me tell you, I got what was promised. So obviously, the clearly illuminated door is the way to go. Well, that's a bold choice for sure. Not many games start with the clearest path being the one that throws you back to the desktop. Let's try that again. This time I don't open the desktop door. Instead, I go to the TV. And it's some very interesting static, let me tell you. I walk back and oh, someone slid a VHS under the closet door. Great. I guess I'll pop this bad boy in the VHS player because I do indeed dare watch it. I guess this is the most title screen we're gonna get. And that's a dude over there, just kind of flailing around, having a good old spooky time. I'm always playing PS1-style horror games, so the fact that this one is so realistic is kind of a shock to the system for me. This whole game is shocking, even the cleaver stuck in this guy's face. I cut the rope to the cage whilst hoping there won't be any combat in this, and I'm a bit relieved to see it disappears once I'm out. Alright, good shit, good shit. And when I say good shit, I mean bad shit, because there's a dark, mysterious flailer around here that I don't want to encounter. My first impression is that this game looks fantastic, but you really couldn't tell too much because it's so damn dark. And as usual, I have the worst flashlight imaginable. And the worst ambience imaginable. It's really good sound design, and I think it really makes the game. It only gets scarier as we press on. Not like I'll be moving on anytime soon, though. You move slower than your 98-year-old grandmother. Not that I'm exactly complaining. I'm not exactly itching to sprint into the darkness with nothing but a dollar store pink fairy princess flashlight. Something I learned pretty quickly is that you should just try to ignore all the sounds around me and focus on getting where I'm trying to be. Really keeps my sanity in check. I saw that, you son of a bitch. Making crocodile noises and such. Anyway, keeping on with the ignoring of spooky things I see, I find an axe lodged in somebody's head. And obviously it's free and for the taking, such as the law of the land decrees. I'm only a couple of minutes in and I get sort of an amateurish feeling to the sound design. I know I said it's good, and it is, but I get the feeling the devs just sticking sounds in to put sounds in. Here, take a listen. Yeah, it's spooky and all to hear footsteps, but it makes no logical sense coming from where I heard it. There's a guy running directly next to me right here. It's a little goofy. I don't even think- Ah, oh, shit, that one got me. I think this game is made for big babies because it scared the shit out of me with nothing but jump scares. And I even have the lights on in my room for this. Though I do think that guy could have used a few frames of animation. Just a few. You know, the initial reaction I had to this was the level was really large, but upon watching it back, it's actually very small and pretty linear. There are like two or three dead ends, but you really don't get lost. It's just so dark you can't really tell the scale of the rooms you're in. So I kind of wander around for a little bit feeling lost, but not actually being lost. My video game experience tells me to visit the room with the red light, as it's probably the way to go, and lo and behold, it is. Ah uh, yes, spooky guy running past the door. Must mean this is the correct path. And this is one of the worst parts that got me. This little peeking mannequin man got me so good for no reason, and I'm quite ashamed that this got me that bad. The funny thing is, you can see when I get spooked because I jump and the mouse moves with me. It's hard to keep your cool when you're in a spooky VHS tape, man. And he got me again! I moved the locker to get past and I turn around and he's facing me again. Jesus Christ, I know I'm such a big baby, but can you please just don't? Please. There are a few mannequins, but none get me as bad as the first. This one even wants to give me a hug, which is a sweet gesture, but not very inviting considering it's fleshy and disgusting with one eye like some sort of pirate. Get an eye patch, bro. Right up the stairs, I find a locked door with somebody knocking behind it, and about five steps away is the key, so I really had to battle to get past this one. Really no reason for the door to be locked in the first place when the key is just down the stairs and across some water. Well, I mean, it looks like sewage, but whatever. I really don't care for these mannequins, oh my god. Open sesame! And what a surprise, there was no spooky specter behind the door. Maybe things are gonna be okay after all. You know, the more I play this, the more I keep thinking about how it's just sounds. Like there might be something there, but like I said before, just ignore the sounds and keep on keeping on. There's just far too many sounds for it to be reasonable. I think I get the point that it's like, oh, there's so many sounds going on, you just don't know which one might actually be a jump scare. Like that mannequin who wanted to tell me a secret earlier. It's fine, I'm still a big baby when it comes to horror games, so I'm still shitting my pants the whole time. In fact, pretty much the whole time my pants were being soiled. Just ongoing, very unpleasant. Get a load of this guy. I saw you, dude. Nice try, but that's a point for Moist Fub. I really don't think the screaming is necessary, ma'am. Thank you, but no thank you. The curse tape is very on the nose with its scares. It feels very much like I'm just walking through a haunted house waiting for the next jump scare. Which I like. I like haunted houses very much, and this is just one in the computer. Oh my 
god, look at this drawing. Now this is just magical. Immersion ruined, I think I can go home now. I blow out the candle as the crude drawing instructed, and I just kind of get locked in the closet. I mean, there's some screaming and a mannequin appears to lock me in, but this one was a miss in my humble opinion. My ADHD brain immediately started looking for something to do in there, and I didn't find anything. I mean, they can't all be a win, but damn, this one sucked. So I'm out and starting to feel a little cheated when... Touche game. Well played. It successfully lulled me into a false sense of security in the closet. Well done, developer. This part made me laugh. There's just a loop of some dude absolutely losing his marbles, and he doesn't quiet down until you go in the right direction. So if you go in the wrong way like me, you get to listen to this for some time. Not the spookiest thing once you hear the audio loop, you know? An alarm starts playing after the guy's done screaming and it sounds like a tornado is about to hit. I love the sirens so much, but the constant sounds detract a little from the mood, I think. I think a plain siren's already scary enough, it's kind of unsettling. Maybe some cool flashing lights to go along with the alarm would have been cool. I find a door with a passcode lock, so obviously I need to go and get the code for it. And I find something perhaps even scarier than everything I've come up against so far. Math. I'm really not a big fan of math. Even though the day I uploaded it, the math was apparently made much easier than before. Either way, I came for a haunted house experience not to do math, so I promptly cheated because I don't want to do math and I have zero shame about it. This interrupted the flow I was in so greatly I just decided to skip it entirely. This is in before- Duh, Moist Fob doesn't know how to do math, duh. Yes, I- you're correct, I didn't go to college. And we get an apartment looking door and behind it there are dolls. Dolls have never been too scary for me, but this game is really pulling out all the tropes, so I'm already there. Let's get it. Oh uh, yes, hello, skinned, flayed man. How do you do this day? I'm sure you have a puzzle for me. Yep, we have a doll puzzle. God, the absolute bloom coming off my flashlight makes the bottom unreadable. Good thing I definitely 100% have a college degree and can figure it out. One. Well, excuse the hell out of me. Two. Three! Alright, easy money. Of course the bookshelf moves out of the way for me. I collected all the creepy dolls, why wouldn't it? Oh, and this guy's having issues. This might just be our spooky dark flailer from the beginning when we were stuck in the cage. Good to be reunited, you know? I guess I'll go through the door and ah, shit, they don't like it. They don't like me one bit. I'm just a man with a VHS tape, what the hell do you want from me? This part is pretty unsettling, I love it so much. Dude, dude, you have to check out my VHS copy of Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I whistle and slide a VHS tape under the door, thusly completing the cycle and starting it all over again. What a crazy ass game. And I think it was important for me to face my fears on this one. I may have grown slightly by getting the living shit scared out of me. Time to go change my pants.